Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this one we are going to go over Blender add-ons that are actually default in Blender so you do not need even to install them. That are actually pretty amazing. So the only thing you need to do is go to the edit mode, preferences, add-ons and find them here and just tick on the icon to enable them. And the first add-on that we will go over is called the Archimesh add-on. So once you enabled it, you want to go here and then you also have these pads here but you want to click on create. And here we also have some elements, props and other stuff. So the Archimesh actually offers us the ability to make 3D architectural models that are actually highly customizable. So we can choose between the presets such as stairs, roof, columns, doors. We can customize them for example here. But you can even remove the arch like this. And we also have some props that just complement the entire thing. For example, let me add some books. And you can see I already customized them. Every time you just delete the asset and bring them back in, the settings will actually still be saved. So let me just bring it back again. You can see the settings that were before are saved. And here I can customize even the number of the books their randomness you can choose the color for them so like if i want them to be more of a greenish tone like whatever you want this will just do for you and the most amazing thing of this add-on for me is the ability to just use the green pencil to draw your own rooms so you want to press 7 to go to the top view hold the d to get the green pencil brush and then just draw the outline of your floor plan for example this it does not even have to be pretty and down here we can just choose if you want the floor closed walls ceiling or everything i will just do the floor and once you just configure the settings we can just click room from draw and now i have a floor plan that is also highly customizable for example from here so i can just make it a bit less high I can even go to the advanced panel, make some pieces like this for the roof and highly customize it once again. It's pretty amazing for architecture and just making a little maquette. The other add-on I'm just going to talk about is the add-on that is pretty useful for hard surface modeling and it is called a bull tool add-on. Of course, let me first add some subjects, for example a cube. And a cylinder let me just grab the cylinder and put it like here before some of you know of the bull tool as the modifier which is located here the boolean modifier but the bull tool is so much simpler all i need to do is select two objects second will be the object that is going to get cut and then just press ctrl shift p you can see the shortcut keys down here and I have some booleans, so we have the auto boolean and the brush boolean. For example, difference. You can see now, the object has been cut without even going to the edit mode. But when I enter edit mode, you can see geometry is pretty nice, there are no glitches, and it's not messy at all. Let me show you some different presets. So difference, we also have union, which will connect them also pretty nicely. We have the intersect, which actually slices the inner part. And we have the slice. And you can see this fits in perfectly. And if that's not enough, you actually have the ability to see what you're doing in real time. For those, we have the brush boolean. So let me just select the different. And now, when I move it, you can see I'm just seeing the results in real time so I can just see what I'm doing and when I like it I can just control shift B once again and either remove or apply brush and you can see now the mesh has been cut. The other add-on is actually for the guys and girls that actually like to go into sculpt mode and make some pretty nice characters. So let me just showcase my character here. Now let us grab it and go to the sculpt mode. And of course it is called the dynamic brush menu. 
So you have shortcuts to just access the brushes or you can just click here. But the dynamic brush menu actually allows us to completely remove this. We do not need it. So you need to just press space and where your crosshair is, you'll see some presets. So we can change the brush. We can change the radius, strength, auto smooth. It even comes with some presets like this. We can also change the texture, symmetry, and even have the ability to change between object, edit mode, gold mode, literally everything. And if you want to customize it even more, you have the quick favorites. Let me just show you how it works. So you just right click on any brush you want. You can add to quick favorites, press space, and now the brush will be located there. And of course, after you finish sculpting your model, then you want to do some retopology like this. Wish it was that fast. But the add-on that I'm going to show you will actually make it a bit faster. So for example, when it comes to tweaking, I want this to be lined up a bit more nicely. So when we do stuff, sometimes we do it a bit messy. And good add-on for that is actually called the loop tools. So loop tools actually helps us line up some geometry. For example, I can use the relax to actually get the result I want. Let me just enable this so it snaps. You can see now this is looking much better. I can even relax this. And it's pretty easy. So you do not even have to manually line those things up because it does it for you. For example, let me just move this again. You can see this does not look very well. No problem, if I want a circle shape, I can even click on circle, like this, and it will make it automatically for me. And of course, for every option, you can just expand this and tweak it to your liking. And once your model is done, like this, we want to light it up. We want it to be in a pretty nice scene, and we want to showcase it in the best possible way. And to do that, I will actually use a pretty nice add-on called 3 Lighting. So 3 Point Lighting add-on. I'm going to press Shift A. Go here. Into the light. And you can see it is here. So 3 Point Light. And it automatically actually makes 3 lights for us. Here we can just position them a bit better. If we do not like it, we can even change the type of lights. And the most amazing thing about it is that they follow the model. So you can see here, wherever I move the head, they're coming along with it. And of course, this works only if you select the object and add it. Because if I just try to add it without an object, it will not work. And now, I'm going to switch to this pad here. So I can see the light. Make sure the scene lights is turned on. But we can still see it's not as visible. But of course, I can just switch to any of these lights and actually configure them in this panel here. I'm just going to bring their strength up a bit. As you can see, it is already making difference. I'll color them into different colors so we can see what is happening. 400 for this one. To we'll make it blue. Now let's make this one red. You can see it is just providing the perfect light we need. And when I move it, it moves along with it. Pretty amazing. And well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe, share a like. It does help me a lot, really. So I hope to actually see you in the next one. Bye bye.